I know someone's going to be watching this and thinking, oh, I'm not ever going to need this tutorial. And then the day comes when you actually do get a new phone months later and realize, oh shit, I actually do need that tutorial, which is me a few weeks ago when I got a new phone. So today I'm going to show you how to save your sorry asses from a 15 day trading cooldown. This is for when you get a new phone and want to get Steam and Steam Guard on the new phone. Normally you would use the code the app gave you and then punch that in on the new phone, but that would give you a 15 day trading cooldown. Now, if you lost the old phone, this won't work. You're going to have to use the code it gave you and just take the 15 day trading cooldown. There's no other way around that. Now, if you lost both your old phone and the code you're supposed to write down, but for some reason you never did and don't follow instructions, then you're a moron and you're fucked. So again, this will only work if you have both the old and the new phone. So to start off, you're going to need an app called Helium on both your phones. The link will be in the description. You will also need a desktop version of it too, so go ahead and download that and install it on the PC while you're at it. And before anyone asks, no, you don't need to have your phone rooted, jailbroken, or whatever. If it already is, then it saves you the step of plugging it into your computer. If not, don't worry about it. Now, once you have the apps downloaded on both phones, go ahead and open it up on your old phone. Now, it will ask you to plug it into your computer. It needs to sync with a desktop client. If your phone is jailbroken, it allows you to skip this step. Now, when you plug it in, it should sync for a minute and then give you a green check mark. If not, make sure your phone is in the right USB mode. For Samsung, they have to be in MTP mode. It's different for all phones, so this step will just simply be trial and error until you get it right. Now, if none of that works, it means you probably have never plugged in your phone to your computer. So you're going to need to go to your phone's manufacturer website and download its USB drivers. Now, assuming you got your USB drivers and you got it in the right USB mode, it should give you a green check mark. Now you can go ahead and unplug your phone and open the app. Now what you're going to do first is open this little menu at the bottom that's hiding. Now select back up the entire app and data. You don't want to do just the app's data itself. You want the entire app and the data. Now scroll through until you find Steam. Now go ahead and click back up to internal storage. Once that is done, open the file explorer on your phone and find the carbon folder. It should be in your primary directory. Now, go in there and find the Valve software folder, press and hold it, and click zip or compress. It might be different how they call it on your phone, but either way, once it's finished, it should be in a .zip file. Now, go ahead, click on that file, click the share button, and send via Bluetooth to your new phone. Now, once you are done that and it finished sending, you are done with the old phone. Now, on the new phone, you're going to have to repeat all those steps we did earlier that involved plugging it into the PC. I know it's a chore to do every time, but if your phone's rooted, you can skip this step. That's where it came in handy. Otherwise, just go ahead, plug it in, repeat all that until it gives you the green check mark. Now, find the .zip file you sent over Bluetooth. Go ahead and extract that. Now, copy that extracted file and move it into the carbon folder on your new phone. Again, it should be in the primary directory. Once you are done that, go into the Helium app, select Restore and Sync option. Now you should see the Steam folder there. Go ahead and click and wait for that to finish. And if you finish that, congratulations, you just followed basic instructions and I saved you from a 15 day trading cooldown. And this is the part of the video where I'm supposed to say, if this tutorial helped you, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe and show it to all your friends and all that other bullshit. When in reality, this is just public info that can be found anywhere. Thank you again to iMeglo on Reddit who found this out. He made a tutorial, but it was really confusing as hell, so I decided to make it in video and make it easier to understand. I hope this helped you guys and hopefully it should save you from a 15 day trading cooldown.